well, thanks for coming in, first of all. Thanks for your time. Um, so last last game, 6-0 win. Uh, what were your thoughts on the on the match? It was great. Um, fabulous result. Um, it was a, a good reaction after the, the previous game, um, the Salford game. Uh, but everything that we did, we did on um, on that game, we did fantastically well. I couldn't, you couldn't say there was a player that probably is underperformed. We did fantastically well. It was a great, a, a great thank you to the supporters that got the game on on the Saturday morning for us. So that makes it uh, eight league games unbeaten now for Dalton. So what do you think is the secret behind the upturn in form? I think the change of system that we've done has helped everybody. Confidence has been great. Um, people are doing the jobs now. Everybody's we're getting opportunities and they're going in. Um, we're defending. We, we look mean at the back of midfield. We're getting round people, creating chances. Everything just seems to be clicking into place, and it's an, a nice place to be. Mm-hmm. And um, on Saturday, uh, Amar Purewal and Stephen Thompson both scored two goals each, uh, which brings them up to 16 and 15, I think, on the season each. So how much of a boost is it to have two players who are scoring so many goals? Yeah, I think um, it's, it's vitally important that... Um, that the forwards score goals for you. Um, go back to the previous question about the, the system. Uh, we, we changed the system a little bit and we've got Stephen Thompson more in the game and uh, involved more rather than being out wide and he's he's, cr- he's scored lots of goals since it's happened and um, Amma's been a, a real great um, focal point for him. Same with David Dowson. Uh, and it was good to see on Saturday that Nathan Fisher got a goal as well, which was... Uh, nice. He's, we've seen his quality in training. It's just now getting time on the on the on the pitch, really, to to show that. But it's been difficult because you've had Amma, you've had David Dawson, and you had David Thompson scoring goals, and it's it's been hard to get them on the on the pitch. But competition for places, and all your forwards scoring, is only a recipe for success, and that's what's happened. And long may it continue. Obviously, um, promotion must be number one priority this season. Um, what are your chances of catching the league leaders, Spurs and Ashton? Um, well, they've they've only been beaten once, um, and I know when we played them back when it was, we were we were quite unfortunate. We had a lot of chances, and but the league table doesn't lie. They've they've done really well. All we can do is concentrate on getting three points, keep momentum. We've scored a lot of goals lately, um, a lot of goals, and and we've clawed clawed a few players. Not. F- uh, league positions back, but we've clawed points back on on the teams above us, and all we can do is keep carry on doing that. Really. Mm-hmm. Um, so you mentioned uh, just before about the fans and how they all came down on Saturday morning to get the pitch ready. So how important do you think it was to get a win and a big win to reward the fans for that effort? It was fabulous, uh, and it's happened uh, two or three times now, and and generally always the same people that's coming down and. And if it wasn't for them, that game wouldn't have been on, on on Saturday. And the way the players responded, and even even you've seen on social media after the game, a lot of the players even thanked the supporters, um, which is fantastic. It would, going back to it, it wouldn't have been on. Um, and and it, to be fair, we were all desperate for a game. It didn't look like it was going to be, uh, but them supporters made it happen, and great. A, a big thanks out to them. Mm. And it was also, um, Downton had the fifth highest uh, attendance for a non-league game on Saturday, so that shows that the support is still there and it's still loyal and come to the game. Uh, well, well, no doubt. You know, Everybody knows that we've got a massive fan base for this this level of football. Um, and we need to get back where we belong as, as soon as possible. Uh, and, I, and I think what's happened this week... Um, the fans forum trying to get back into Dalek and the quicker we get that sorted the better um, because there's there's obviously a few fans that haven't for whatever reason the, the, the attendances are down compared to last year a little bit but the quicker we get back to Dalek and hopefully we can get them them fans back back on board mm-hmm. and on a personal level um, Martin Gray was uh, had a touch fine ban for its scope two games he was back on Saturday um, but that meant that you were taking the league in, lead in the dugout. So what was that like for you? Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, it's happened once or twice this season with the 
uh, with the cup games, but he, to say he was in the stand, he was never off the phone. Mm -hmm. um, so it was it was it was different, but it wasn't really because it was it was always in my ear anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, just moving on to tonight, um, obviously you've got Gates said in the cup. Yeah. Uh, what type of team are you looking to play tonight, Johnny? Um, it's it's probably it, well, it is a weakened team what we're playing tonight, and I know that's been said in the press and everything already. Um, the goalkeeper is a senior player, uh, and Leon Scott is playing. Other than that, they're all uh, under 18 players um, from the from the youth team. Uh, it'll be difficult for them, but it'll be a great experience, and it's sometimes it's the only way you learn. You'll go and put yourself up against professional players, um, go and play on a nice pitch, big game. It'll be a fantastic opportunity for them. Uh, Saturday was a special day with winning 6-0. It was also a special day for Downton because uh, Dan Byrne made his debut for Fulham. Um, so, what are your thoughts on that, and also the supposed seventy-five thousand pound boost that the club will get as uh, as a result of that? It's it's fabulous for the lad. It's and it's it's good. It's great recognition for the football club. Previously, that they've they've had David Stockdale playing in the Premier League. They've had Dan Byrne playing in the Premier League, and that's only good for the the previous people that's been around the club. Craig Little, um, people like that. Um, Going back to the windfall of the financial aspect, fantastic. It was a much needed, um, much needed uh, injection of cash, because everybody knows that we, um, how the club stands and what we need to do. But that was great. It was good news. It was a great day on Saturday because we got that news just before the game. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the supporters got the game on, and we got that news, and then, and then the result as well. Fabulous. Yes. Yeah, so after the um, after you, your fans forum on Monday. Um, what's like the current uh, like the financial situation with the club and like the move back to Darlington that area any further than that? Yeah, I think it's all been uh, highlighted in the press. It's um, obviously the windfall that come in is great, um, but it's not the end. We we still need to fundraise to get back to Darlington to um, to clear the debt, and I, I think everybody knows that. Um, and and generally the feeling after them, I spoke to a lot of fans afterwards and they felt quite upbeat about it. So. That's good news. And um, Downton, have, uh, you've kept three clean sheets in the last four games, so the defence is looking really strong. But also this week, um, Gateshead made Joe Tate available for transfer. Do you think there's any chance that he might make a return to Darlington? Um, going back to Joe Tate, last year he was fabulous. He, he did really well for us, and um, he was a major, major reason why why we did so well last year. Um, I don't think it's worked out the way he wanted to do it, um, Gateshead. But the thing is with Gateshead, it's full time. At the minute we're not, and I think Joe is trying to still look at somewhere full time, if he can. Um, and, and if that doesn't materialise, who knows? Who knows? But at the minute, we're doing okay. Have you got any, uh, on the transfers, any other maybe loans? Possibly coming in. For we're, we're always watching. Yeah. We're always looking out. We we haven't got a massive squad. Uh, we've used a few of the under 18s on the bench around the squad over Christmas time. Um, so we're always looking out. Um, but we've got real good quality in the squad, and they have to be good. They have to be good when they come in to affect our our first team, and that's difficult. But we're always on the lookout, definitely.